Hello, this is your evil twin, welcome you back to Let's Play Darkest of Days. And we're back in the First World War. We have an objective to acquire a shotgun, but first we've got a German patrol heading towards us. So I'm going to try and sneak into the woods and see if I can surprise them. I don't think that's going to get anyone. <laughs> oh dear. You hear them groaning in agony. Yeah, sometimes rather than killing someone outright, you'll cause them to roll around on the ground in pain. Yeah, I think I'll swap for the German rifle. Actually, the pistol would be better suited for this. There we go. Knocked out the guy that's important to history. Now you might think it's a little weird that um, we don't actually start with the shotgun. For some reason Dexter leaves it for us in the middle of the battlefield. But we have to start off using ordinary guns. Now there is actually a sort of explanation for that. But it's not immediately obvious. We'll later find that well, I'll talk about it later. Starting to regret upgrading the pistol. I didn't realise that uh, you start the mission with so little pistol ammo. So that was a bit of a waste. Oh well, at least it makes this an easy decision. I'll swap the pistol for this fancy new shotgun. Come on. <laughs> it is really satisfying. <laughs> it is great. You can take out two guys with one shot. The semi auto, um, you know, fires pretty much as fast as you can pull the trigger. It is fast to reload, and you know, even faster if you time the reloading event correctly.
<laughs> hey, and all the all the Russians come out. <laughs> yep, you stick with me. You must be pretty impressed seeing me uh, take out that whole squad in a few seconds. <laughs> It's pretty powerful and actually has an okay range. I really appreciate the fact that uh, they didn't just use one of the usual video game shotguns like Spaz-12 or whatever. Instead they came up with this sci-fi design. I think normally you would actually have a 12 round magazine, but uh, thanks to upgrades I've got 15 shots per reload. Yeah, that's the German camp. Just a pleasant stroll on the countryside. Hmm, starting to get tired. Maybe leading the Germans right here wasn't the best idea. So much for my superior mission plan. Yeah, we made this mess. We should probably clean it up. Head for the trenches to beat back the Germans. Alright, now we get into what World War One is best known for. Trenches. The previous uh, World War mission started in a trench, but we left it pretty fast. Oh dear. Oh, and they're charging. Now, well, I think this bit really is genuinely cool. The Germans are charging us. They're all coming out of the smoke. So you can't see them until they get quite close, and you just see their silhouettes. And World War One really was a case of guys suicidally charging right into gunfire, hoping to overwhelm simply through sheer manpower. So uh, this really feels pretty authentic.
Yeah, get back here, you cowards! <laughs> but yeah, if it weren't for me and the futuristic shotgun, those Germans would have totally overrun this Russian trench. So, job well done. Those Germans just keep coming, and the best way to overcome a numerical advantage is vastly superior firepower. I advise you to unleash its righteous fury on the battleground, preferably the German side. Now, if you thought the shotgun was good... <laughs> So yeah, it's kind of like the real-life Javelin rocket launcher, except this one is a sort of automatic, well, burst-fire weapon. Like the shotgun, I think it normally has a capacity of 12 shots, but since we've got upgrades, I get 15 shots per reload. And yeah, the rockets fly up into the sky. causing a very cool smoke trail effect and then they come down wherever the laser is pointing oh <laughs> um right i i think the germans overran the trench i was killing plenty of germans but yeah i wasn't actually killing germans that had reached the trench i think i've got to use this a bit more sensibly And the fact that there's a delay between each rocket hitting is what makes it so fun because you, you slowly draw a path with the laser dot and it will cause the rockets to come down in a sort of rolling barrage following the path of the laser. And have you seen the ammo count? <laughs> Kablooey! We can't hold this position! There's a Russian guy there the whole time. What's he shooting at? Is there still a... German alive out there? Better make sure. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. These Russians have seen me using this. Um, that could be a problem. Can't leave any witnesses. Go in a mess of history. Now, I'm just being a responsible time agent.
Oh. Um, yeah. More guys and they might have seen me. <laughs> I think this is the only time in the game you get to use this weapon, so I'm going to make the most of it. <laughs> and, you know, there's there's no need to feel bad for the Russians, because none of them got blue auras, so I think they're all doomed to die in the war anyway. But, now oh, I've uh, been responsible and cleaned up my mess, so I'll head back to Dexter. All right, give me that. We can't have just anybody get their dick beaters on it. We're done at these trenches. Go join up with that patrol. Мы просто не можем позволить фрицам занять больше территории. Смерть оккупантам! Мы перегруппируемся с войсками Петровича сегодня вечером. I'm curious about what those guys are talking about. You're kidding me! It's those assholes! We gotta get out of here! Follow me! Yep, it's those assholes! Keep firing, assholes! Yeah, the asshole of the assault rifles shooting at Dexter. And this asshole of a pistol took out a couple of Germans. It doesn't matter what weapon you're armed with for... Okay, yeah, I'm out of here. Not gonna survive long against an assault rifle. I'm so relieved you both made it back. Those strange intruders are quickly becoming our overriding problem. We simply can't do anything else until we come up with a way to deal with them. I believe we'll need to capture one of these strangers. And I am tasking you and Dexter to get that done. It's up to you how. Mother gives us the general mission parameters, but she leaves the details up to us. And that will actually be a plot point. Although Mother's main priority is protecting history, Dexter is a bit more lax with that sort of thing. I really miss New York style pizza. Remember that? Ah, oh, crap, I forgot. You're from a time before pizza. Yes, Dexter, I'm from a time before pizza. Actually, General Custo is quite partial to a thick crust meat feast. So yeah, I've got four upgrade points. Now I'll put two into pistol reload speed. Fried chicken. I could really go for some old-fashioned fried chicken right now. And a beer. And I'll put the other couple of points into rifle rate of fire. Hey Morris, why the long face? So, no choices this time. Next mission is the trap. Here's the deal. Those agents, well, call them that have been hassling you, are turning into a major problem. We need to figure out where they're coming from, who they're working for, and what the hell they're packing for heat. Now, I don't like this a whole lot, but we're up against it, and this is what we gotta do. I've scouted out a ravine where some cavalry boys are getting their asses handed to them by the Indians. I want you to clear out the Indians, and then... Well, you need to take out the soldiers with blue auras. And that'll grab the attention of those agent boys. They're gonna come after you, and you're playing rabbit. Lead them up through the ravine, and I'll take care of the rest. So we're going to intentionally mess up history by killing someone with a blue aura. Interesting. And yeah, it's gonna be a battle of Indians. That didn't go so well the last time. <laughs> 
But yeah, it sounds uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, do join me next time, and uh, thanks for watching.